Hey guys, good evening and welcome back again to your Run Academy Lead English channel. I hope all of you are doing great, having a good time. So, my dear students, let me give you the quick summary of whatever happened in the today's hearing. <clears throat> what all indications we are going to get from the different points which we got from the today's hearing in the Supreme Court, right? And let's have a look one by one. So, my dear students, first of all, I mentioned over here Renate. That means I'm talking about those lawyers who are in the favor of Renate. Let's exactly get to know what all points they targeted upon in the Supreme Court today. The first point, this was the most important one, right, which happened before the lunch. Systematic failure of NTA. Systematic, systematic failure of NTA, right? What this systematic uh, failure of NTA exactly means? There are a few points which I've mentioned, which were discussed in the today's hearing. How a girl scored more than 700, but failed in the 12 boards. A girl scoring... 700 plus, but she failed in the 12th words. How come it's possible? This was the first point of discussion. Second, how only uh, Hardeyal school got grace marks by NTA? Why only Hardeyal school was given grace marks by the NTA? Why not all the other uh, schools wherein loss of time happened? But in counter, in counter, NTA replied. The lawyer of NTA replied to this particular statement. He was like, only Hardeyal school was given the grace marks. All the other schools were not given the grace marks because in the centers itself, that loss of time was compensated, etc, etc. The third point. Leak happened before 4th of May. This was one more important point which, were, which was made by the Renit lawyers. They were continuously debating about the fact that the paper leak, it did not happen only on 5th morning. It happened before that. It happened 3rd uh, night, 4th night, something around that. Dude, because of which, the leak would be mass, it's not going to be restricted to an isolated place. This was their one more point of discussion. Paper leak, this is something which is important. Paper leak has now become a business. And if the paper is not cancelled, the leakers will try to expand their business. This was, this was a genuine point. See, paper leak nowadays, what is it? It's a business basically, right? These leakers, they get money out of it. If, if the, I mean, if the paper was leaked at the mass level, right? If the paper was leaked at the mass level, Definitely, these leakers would have got benefited. Now it's high time to restrict the business of these leakers. That's something on which discussion happened in the today's uh, Supreme Court. Every day NTA releases press notes, but nothing irrelevant. Every day NTA comes up with certain things, right? They comes up with certain notices, etc., etc. But all those notes and notices are irrelevant. That's not related to our need or no re need, right? Moving ahead, a student who got rank sixty-eight. With 700 marks in Hardial school, got 58,000 rank in the retest. So a student who got 719 marks in the uh, in the first result, right? In the when he wrote the exam in the Hardial school, but when he wrote the retest on 23rd of June, he was earlier getting 68 rank. Now after writing the retest, re his rank was 58,000. How come that is possible? Now, the Chief Justice of India, CJI. Whatever discussion, there were a lot of discussions happening, my dear students, in the today's, in this today's Supreme Court's hearing, right? But after the lunch, what we could observe? We observed one thing. The Chief Justice of India, they were not convinced by anything, basically. We could see it. We could see directly when they were talking, when they were diverting the discussions, etc., etc. They were not discussing. They were not in the favor of Rini, technically, right? They were not in the favor of Rini. So they were avoiding the discussions, etc. Right. So as per CJI, there was, if you have got any solid evidence of that paper was leaked on the mass level, right, then we can go ahead with the discussion. Do not come up with the, do not divert the discussion on systematic failure. Systematic failure is a separate debate. It's a separate discussion, right? This is something which CJI said. As per the Renit lawyers, the magic zone of 650 marks and above, there are more than 50,000 students which are getting 650 plus marks, which is a red flag as per the Renit lawyers. There is an organized gang that has prior history of leaking the paper. So basically, as per, as per the Renit lawyers, there's a gang basically, right, which has got the prior history of leaking the papers. Perfect. And we need to stop their business by cancelling their examination. This was one more point which was made by the Renit lawyers. NTA giving 5,000 PDFs as the re-result, which was almost, almost impossible for uh, the re lawyers to compile all the results, etc., etc., right? 
The bell-shaped curl, which was given by IIT Madras, as per the Rini lawyers, it is inaccurate. It was supposed to be bell-shaped, but in some states, it's not bell-shaped. It is square-shaped, it's spherical-shaped, it's flat, something, something, right? So, in short, the bell-shaped curl, it is inaccurate. It's not accurate in all the states. Now, at the end, what Chief Justice of India said, it was not convinced with the Rini lawyers, number one. We could see it directly. And when they were not convinced with the Rini lawyers, slowly they diverted the discussion into what? They diverted the discussion into the bonus question, right? There was a, there was a bonus question in physics related to the stability of atom, if you remember, right? And there was a, in the today's hearing, there was a discussion of almost one hour for that particular question, right? Why that? Because, because the Chief Justice of India, they were not convinced with what? They were not convinced with the mass leak. They just wanted to hear, they just wanted to see the proofs whether the paper was legal on the mass level or not. But all the other, dis all the discussions which were happening in the today's session, they were related to the systematic failure, right? So they were not convinced with that and slowly the discussion got, di got diverted to the bonus question, right? Which held there for, which was there almost for one hour. For one hour almost they, I mean, the, this discussion on the bonus question happened. So in short, I would say what I felt because I have been seeing the hearing since morning, what I felt the Supreme Court is not in a mood to conduct any re-examination in short. The next hearing now is tomorrow, right? Tomorrow at 10 a.m. again the hearing is going to begin and we believe that tomorrow the case is going to get closed for sure, right? So what if you ask me as a teacher, what do you think? What I interpreted since the morning, right? Supreme Court is not in a mood to conduct the re-examination at all, okay? Now my dear to all those students, all those students who are waiting for the who, who are waiting for the re-NEET examination or who were in the dilemma to start the NEET 2025 preparation, my dear students, on 26th, we are coming up with the Phoenix Pro Batch for all of you. You guys can join in. We, the Unacademy NEET English team, we are going to train you into that particular batch wherein your whole syllabus will be completed in just five to six months, followed by two months of revision, followed by mock tests on every alternate Sundays, DPP study materials, every single thing will be provided to you. And if you want to be the part of the Unacademy Offline Centers on 23rd of July, right? That means tomorrow, in all the Unacademy Offline Centers, we are starting the new batches for all the NEET 2025 aspirants. So your nearby Unacademy Center, you need to pay a visit, right? And join the batches there as well if you want to be the part of the offline batches in Unacademy, right? So with this, people, I'll be taking a leave, right? And if you want to be the part of the Phoenix Pro Batch, the link is there in the description box of the video. Click on that link, get added to the batch and let's start our preparation for the NEET 2025 from 26th of this particular month. Because we, the Unacademy NEET English team, we are going to train you in such a way that you cross 700 marks. You cross that 700 reference mark in your NEET 2025 by just following what we tell you to follow. Link is there in the description. Click on that link, right? Get enrolled into the batch right now and let's kickstart the preparation exactly from 26th of this particular month. Take care, God bless you all and love you all guys. Bye-bye.